Hello, I'm Miss Linnea Lark, and welcome back to Illustrate Away. This is episode number 15. Illustrate Away is a community that we're growing and building of artists who are wanting to practice their craft and their art daily. A reminder of our rules. Rule number one for drawing is to draw with your eyes and not with your brain. Make sure that you really look at everything that you're drawing and observe it and check out the proportions and make sure that it's an accurate shape. Number two, draw shape before detail. Before you get bogged down by all the small lines and all the detail and the texture, make sure that you have the actual proportions correct of whatever it is that you're drawing. Use basic shapes like triangles and rectangles and cylinders and cones to get those shapes. Rule number three, erase to fix, not to restart. Sometimes when we're learning and we're growing, we get frustrated that our work doesn't look great. Just remember that these drawings are for practice, and so we don't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection, we're looking for growth. And rule number four is that all failure leads to growth. So three and four are very connected. Just remember that even if your drawing isn't great today, if you go back and you look at it later and you get some, some time and some space and then you take a look at it with fresh eyes, you can oftentimes find where your mistakes were, where your problems were. So that failure is a necessary and a very key part of growth. All right, so I want to try something new this week. Um, I want to encourage everyone, my students and people who I've never met before, uh, to do your daily drawings and to upload them on whatever social media network um, you want to. Um, but the key here is going to be for you to tag it. Uh, so you need to hashtag illustrate away wherever you're posting your image so that I can see it and other people can see it. Uh, anyway, it's a free and clear hashtag. We're going to claim it as our own. Um, and the idea is the Illustrate Away is a place for people to draw every day to grow. This is our last video for Poop Week. Uh, I know it's, it's coming at you a little bit late. Sorry about that. Uh, so as I'm drawing, what you'll notice is I'm drawing some dung beetles. And if you haven't looked these guys up, they're pretty crazy. What's crazy, first of all, is that they're collecting poop. But the really crazy part is that they roll it up into this tight, perfect sphere. Like it is perfect. Like if you look at these <laughs> these poop balls online, like it's pretty amazing that these bugs can create a ball uh, of anything that's bigger than them and like a perfect circle. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, enjoy those. But um, the story that I want to share for you is about my mom and probably about four or five years ago, I want to say. But all through our lives, like there's always been this back burner dream of hers to go to Paris. And, you know, when we were little, she was supporting us and staying with us. I don't think we ever, you know, until we were like, I don't know, near 12 or 13 years old, really slept anywhere without our mom around. Um, she was always there for us and taking care of us. And, you know, those were her like golden years. Those were her 20s and her 30s. And she's like dedicating it to us kids. And uh, anyway, it was just like a really special, magical moment. Long story short, we finally get to Paris and like it's my mom's lifelong dream and it is beautiful and it is like the art mecca of like Europe. It is like wonderful. Uh, they've got, you know, different, uh, there's so many museums, you guys. I couldn't even, we couldn't even begin to see them all. Um, but anyway, one day we find ourselves at the Louvre and uh, we get there really early. This place is ginormous. Like it's an old castle from way back when and like it's huge. And the really big thing that we both really wanted to see um, was the ancient Egyptian section. Like we were really excited about seeing the Egyptian section. And one of the really cool things about Paris and their museums in general is that they're the bulk of their their art collection is sec uh, separated by periods so the Louvre when you think about the Louvre it's got all the ancient stuff all the old stuff like Jesus day way back when and before uh, so if you want to see like the earlier ages like that's that's really the the museum you want to go to uh, so we we end up looking on the map and you know we've got all these promotional packets from the museum they've got maps on the walls and and we're trying to find this ancient Egyptian section and we're going down wings upon wings and we're so lost and like we had to stop a few times and like take a break like this place is huge 
Um, but we're seeing amazing art in between. And finally, we uh, we were like, okay, we're going to press on. we got to find him. We're like exhausted. Like we've been in this place all day. And um, we finally, we get. I'm like, I've got my, my face up to a map on the wall. And my mom's talking in the background. And I'm like really trying to figure out this map to figure out where the ancient Egyptian section is. And my mom's pretty loud. I'm pretty loud. We're both pretty loud people. But the Louvre is made of like like granite or like marble tile everywhere. It's like beautiful, ornate, but everything's got a hard, glossy surface to it. And so I hear my mother's voice ricocheting and echoing all over this glorious palace filled with all the most expensive, amazing art of our, you know, past years. And she's like, Linnea, we found it. It's a sphincter. And I'm like, Mom, it is not a sphincter. It's a sphinx. <laughs> so my mom's voice is echoing through the halls of the Louvre. Sphincter, sphincter, sphincter. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed our last uh, video of Poop Week. Uh, brought to you by my little niecey pie, Coral Rose. Um, you know, we all got a sphincter.